There's a lot of talk about in-housing and it's this big trend. It's been around for a long time. There have always been teams inside of clients within the marketing teams or supporting the marketing teams to address the needs that exist. And if you look at what's happened just even in the last five years, the proliferation of media, the fragmentation that's happened, there's just so much more that is needed today and there's a lot of work that needs to get accomplished. So that can be either through a team that is in-house or through an agency partner. And I do think it's important to recognize there is no one size fits all. There's no right way of doing it. It's about finding what is the right model for you, but you have to really think about what are your objectives? What are you trying to accomplish? and that they're not set in stone, they change over time. We see some marketers shifting more work back externally versus keeping it in-house, and others are making different shifts depending upon what their needs are, both for media as well as creative. So, uh, some takeaways from your panel today. What, do you, what, what you know, Share some of your thoughts. So, the panel covered both creative and media and trying to understand what is the right way to collaborate. I think there are there were some good themes that came out. One is it's a partnership and it has to be right for both sides. That it isn't about the agency saying we only do it one way. It isn't about the marketer saying this is what I need today. It's about how do we think about what the partnership is for today but also into the future and how that works within the agency model. So for publicists in the way that they were working with GSK, it was about how to work together to support the tech stack that they work with to collaborate with the team that's in-house that's actually managing strategy and comms planning. Um, for VMLYNR and for New Balance, it was a little different around how do we think of the creative and the work that's getting done if VMLYNR is setting the brand strategy, the base of the work, but then you've got the global creative services team at New Balance that's gonna do more of the executional work and work closely within the local territories and how they manage it. So those are just two examples. There are so many more out there and it's about being open to what the possibilities are and recognizing what are your business needs and how do you make that happen for today and then model it out and roadmap it for the future. So it would seem on the cover that in-housing is, 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 is a negative for the advertising industry, but I'm finding that it's not necessarily so. I mean. Can you sort of talk about mm. aspects of, of, of this trend that are positive for the agency that, sure. that, that, that will result in, in growth of your members? So uh, it's interesting that you say some people are saying it's negative and it's, it's how you look at it. So there's still statistics out there that while there's more growth in in-house teams and as I said, there's so much more work that needs to get accomplished there's still 90% that are working externally with partners because you still need that outside provocation. You need that thinking. There's that healthy tension. You want access to the right talent. And what agencies need to do is kind of lead the thinking in certain ways and really help support because they're seeing the breadth of perspective across clients, uh, on the media side, understanding technology, which is changing constantly and how you build your tech stack and how you look at that. It's being able to tap into that expertise. So I think agencies have also shifted to be less reluctant to needing to do everything end-to-end. -end. We heard that in the panel as well, that there's more openness to recognizing what their specific role can be within the journey and how to bring that to life. And it doesn't have to be all or nothing. It's finding the right balance and what works best for the client as well as the agency. So there is a shift there and it doesn't have to be negative. It's about how you can actually work together and we also heard more around agencies are actually getting closer to the broader client teams as a result of this and it's giving them more insight from a strategic perspective to guide them and the contributions they can make.